That's because I didn't come home, Frank. You knew I wasn't coming home. I slept at Michelle's. What? No, I didn't. I did not. Yeah, well, that makes two of us then. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Fine. No, it's... You know what? I'm so sick of this conversation. I'm so sick of this conversation. I gotta go. Because I can't talk right now. I gotta go to work. Wait. Oh. Jones. Oh, well, good evening, sunshine. Not really, but thanks for the thought. What's going on, love? I just hate my husband. Oh, he's so cute, though. I actually hate him. Fifteen years of marriage. We find ways. Trust me. That's disgusting. There is a reason that people fight to get married. We fight to keep other people from getting married. <laughs> and right now, I couldn't tell you what it is. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, well, you look like a truck backed into you. Thanks. Pleasure. What are you doing here, Franny? You've had your three days in a row. Well, one of those shifts, I covered for Kelly because her kid was sick. OK. That's bullshit. Have you been home in the last 72 hours? Well, you let me know if you need anything, right? Thanks. How you doing, Miss Jones? Hi, Jessica. Hi. Listen, I thought we went through this last night. Will you please call me Franny? It's uh, just second nature when referring to my elders to... Uh, <clears throat> Miss... Franny. Uh, you, you put your name in the wrong place. See, those patients are Shane's tonight. The charge nurse from last night, she put you in triage. Mm. Well, I have no problem erasing my name and putting it where you want me to. I'm just not gonna do it. Tonight we're gonna bend the rules a little bit and I think we're gonna be okay. What do you think about that? Yeah, you're the boss, love. Uh, right? No, uh, but that bumps me into the fast track and there's no one for me to look after right now. I get bored. Oh, no. Sorry, you get bored. Well, maybe you can help Shane out until you have someone to look after. This is an ER. It's not a nursing home. Okay. Didn't I see you in here last month? Hello? You need to check on your patient at room 10. <laughs> I don't have room 10 tonight. You are nuttier than a pecan orchard. In your caution to the wind moment earlier, you gave yourself room 10. Don't you rip that room.
Hey, hungry? Hey, room 10 is circling. She's got a DNR. Are there no beds upstairs? I think this is her final stop. I've been calling upstairs. There's no room at the end. So does room 10 have a name? June Davis. Her husband brought her in about an hour ago. All right, I forgot my lunch. I'll be in room 10. Too. Oh, no, ma'am. Ma'am, I can't just let you go out on your own. I can't. Just come sit down here. It's okay. We've got to keep you here a little while longer for observation, okay? Oh, it's no, procedure. No, no, no. That, that's okay. I, I, I just wanted some company. Jessica, I need you in psych. get out of your way. Oh, no, no, you're fine. That's... Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're just basically making her comfortable, right? Yeah. I wanted her last moments to be at home. Everyone was there. But she started to breathe funny. I got scared. Oh, that happens all the time. But we'll see to it that she's comfortable. In fact, I have her first on the list for a bed upstairs as soon as one becomes available. I'm Howard. June. Hi. Been that way for 45 years. Wow. Must have had quite a life together. Yes, ma'am, we have. We talked about this a million times. This moment, what it'd be like, who'd be the one left behind. I can honestly say I'm glad it's me holding her hand, not the other way around. Well, 45 years, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Luck's got nothing to do with it. Sorry? Luck. It's a lazy man's excuse for not doing the work. It's the hardest thing we ever did. And there were times I wasn't sure why we were doing it. I know she felt the same. She'd be the first to tell you. Marriage is work. Filled with expectations and disappointments. She took the kids and went to her parents in 67. They never did like me. She was back by 68. Hell, there were two years there. I couldn't find work. That's hard on everybody. And then when I did find work, I tried to make up for lost time. My wife and kids became strangers. I was on the road a lot. We fought, yelled, hollered. Oh, she threw a dish at me. <laughs> that hurt. You got tired of me. We got tired of each other. Sometimes you just get tired of being married. Tired of seeing the same person walk through the door. Tired of the same old stories. And while you're busy being tired of each other, Time's passing. But I guess we loved each other that whole time. You blink once and it's 20 years. Blink twice and it's 30. 
You blink one more time and you're in a hospital room, talking the air off the nurse. Well, I'm sure has got better things to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Forgive an old man. It's actually... So there's no secret to it all, huh? Just one. Stay in the room. She taught me that. My name's Franny. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Okay. Not to be a pain, but I just really like to make sure we have some privacy. I can imagine this room gets pretty busy at night. We'll get her a room upstairs as fast as we can. Thank you. Was the woman in psych discharged? Yeah, about 30 minutes ago. So she wasn't crazy? No, she wasn't crazy. She was just lonely. She comes here three times a month. Where I come from, they call that crazy. So we just let her go? Doesn't somebody need to work? Jessica, it's fine, honey. She left with a number for a good therapist. Hmm. Franny, why don't you go on home now? I can cover you. Oh, no, it's cool. I'll stay. You sure? Can we turn that 